As soon as one starts to move across national boundaries, it is virtually impossible to not notice the role that differences begin to play in our ability to interact and work with other people. Whether it be differences in our cultures, the languages we speak, the religions we practice, our political systems, or even the nature of our economies, the more different we are, the more challenging we find it to communicate with and understand each other. These differences go beyond just inhibiting our ability to understand one another, they also influence our desire to interact and trust one another. In international business research, this is called psychic distance. When it comes to charitable giving and humanitarian aid, these differences or distances are no less important. People all around the world need our help. Aid organizations need our donations. How do donors decide who they're going to help? For example, today, there is a sense of urgency to help Syrian refugees, and people are responding with generous contributions. However, refugees from other countries have needed our help for a long time. Why was there not the same response from donors to the refugees from South Sudan, Bosnia, or Iraq? Why is that happening? We believe that psychic distance may play a role in explaining these donor choices. Factors such as cultural distance, geographic distance, language, religion, colonial ties, and even military interventions, which have played such an important role in international business research, have not been examined in charitable giving or humanitarian aid. With online giving becoming more popular, the international reach of both small, local organizations searching for international donors and large multinational organizations looking to support projects in distant countries, the influence of psychic distance needs to be considered. This could mean that the greater the differences between a donor and the country of a distant stranger in need, the more difficult it will be for the donor to understand and assess the distant country, its context, and the needs of people in that country. This may lead to a greater uncertainty about the distant other country's negative attributions about the people in that country, and lower level of trust and connection between the donor and potential recipients. In turn, these factors are likely to reduce the probability of donation. This is important because humanitarian aid organizations do not have limitless fundraising budgets. Unfortunately, they often must make hard decisions about which needs and projects they should promote. So, understanding how donors behave and might respond to various appeals is critical. We believe understanding psychic distance will help. For fundraising managers, this research could help maintain and increase donor retention rates, allowing them to help greater numbers of people in need and improve the overall efficacy of their programs. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you like the summary of this paper, please share it with your friends, colleagues, and students. A more detailed discussion of these significant implications can be found in this paper.